It was um, the early part of December, and I told John that I wanted a, a divorce and asked him to move out of the house. I found myself all the time mad and angry. It just seemed like I was always, you know, living in a house with kids and stuff, but yet I felt like a stranger. I felt unloved. I felt um, very stressed because I not only took on the role of the wife, but I took on the role of the husband and most of the time made all of the decisions financially, um, any kind, basically any kind of decision that needed to be made, I, I did it. I was hurt, I was cold, I was angry, and I really didn't take into effect how my children felt or how John felt. Uh, I re, uh, recommitted myself to God. Uh, I asked for his forgiveness. You know, I had all the sins that I had did before and sins against Leslie and my children, and I asked for forgiveness. And then I started praying every night that, you know, I still loved her. I didn't want a divorce. I prayed that somehow her heart would soften, my heart would soften, and somehow, somewhere we could, you know, reconcile. Rick had came up to me and he had said, um, would you be willing to listen to uh, a couple of CDs on marriage? And of course, wanting to be the good person, I said, yes. One Saturday, I said, I saw the CDs on the nightstand. I'm like, I, I guess I really do need to listen to these. So I put the first one in and I listened to it and I'm like, this guy has really honed in on some principles that I really need to pray about and I really need to consider. And all through those two CDs, he kept saying that divorce was not an option. And I was like, okay, I understand that message. I really understood that I needed to start counseling and I needed to start talking with John and rebuilding and reconciling this relationship. I know that the Holy Spirit was not only working in my heart and mending my heart and giving me, giving me back that, that love for John, but I know also it was working in John's heart too. Well, I know if we weren't going to Jubilee Church and haven't met Rick and Gail, we probably would have been divorced. I cannot say how, how thoughtful, how, um, how much I am thankful for being at Jubilee when our life was in a huge crisis because you do have those family members, those, those friends that are so concerned for you and want you to have the very best in life. And with, without them, we, we, would not, we would not be sitting here together today. We wouldn't.